Hello and welcome to Traffic Stars. This is a quick tutorial on how to create your first campaign on Traffic Stars platform. To create a campaign, first you need to log into your account and then go to Create Campaign section. On the Campaign Creation page, as a first step, you will find the following tabs Settings, Scheduling, and Targeting. As a start, go to Settings and give a name to your campaign. We recommend the name to be understandable for you and easy to identify the offer and the targeting. For example, product, country, site and ad spot if targeted. You can organize your campaigns into groups in the campaign listing page from here. You can create a new group or add your campaign to an existing one if you have. As a next step, you need to choose the ad format. You'll be able to choose between banners in different sizes, pop under, interstitial, native ads, video pre-roll, push notifications and targeted clicks. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will choose banner format in 300 by 250. After you have chosen the ad format, you can choose the categories you want to target. The category selection tool allows you to match your campaign to certain video categories. Unless you have already done some testing or are promoting an audience-specific product, target all categories to avoid limiting your traffic. You can either choose to target all and have a wide access to all the traffic on the platform, or you can choose custom mode and select only specific categories. For example, you can choose all adult, all mainstream, or choose to have a narrow targeting and either exclude certain categories or select the ones that are most suitable to your offer. On the scheduling tab, you will be able to select the start and end date of your campaign. If you do not choose the start date, your campaign will start automatically after it is approved by our compliance team and will end when you choose to pause it or your account runs out of funds. In daytime range, you can choose during which hours the campaign to run and during which days of the week. Remember to choose the correct time zone as well. You can easily select the whole column of a certain hour or the whole row of certain days. You can also use the quick selection tool to target working hours, daytime, nighttime or all. On the targeting tab you will find our powerful targeting tools which will help you segment your campaign. As a first step here select the countries you would like to target. Type their names on the search bar and choose as many as you want or use the filter to target all countries in tier 1, tier 2 or tier 3 or to choose all countries within one geo group. You can also choose a specific region if you enable show region. By clicking on the arrow of the country you want to choose, you will get a list of all regions within this country. Then you can proceed by choosing additional targeting if needed, such as language. Here you can target for example all English speakers within a certain country or group of countries. You can also target devices, mobile, desktop or tablet. You can also target operating systems, browsers, carriers and you can exclude proxy traffic from here. Under advanced you will find additional targeting such as device brands, device release date, model price, IP ranges, keywords. In this section, you will also find our easy to use retargeting and also the possibility to collect users. For more information about our retargeting, you can read in our guide in the frequently asked questions or ask your account manager for more information. When you have selected your target settings, you can press next and proceed with the audience selection. Under the audience tab, you can select the websites or ad spots on which you would like your ad to appear. You can choose between ROM, runoff network, prime or member serial. On ROM, you will target all available ad spots for the chosen ad format. You can then whitelist or blacklist sites or ad spots using the domain tool or entering the site or spot ID in the field. You can also choose to target only direct inventory, partner networks or both. Under Prime, you can choose only specific sites and ad spots you would like to target. You can also select a separate bid per spot from here. We also have member serial traffic which you can select here. 
Under pricing, you can choose the desired pricing model CPM, cost per thousand impressions, or CPC, cost per click. When using CPM, you can choose between standard and dynamic CPM. We recommend using dynamic CPM. This is a complex algorithm that takes into account different characteristics like bids for the auction participants, volumes and estimation of available traffic on the platform, and some individual characteristics of all auction participants. Here you can see the lowest bid for the geo ad format and device you have selected. Keep in mind that the lowest bid will limit the traffic as the minimum bids differ according to the audience and for some sites it is higher. Under minimum bid, you can see the minimum bid to compete for all the targeted traffic. This will cover all your targeting. You can also see the recommended bid and also premium bid, which is based on the competition for the selected targeting. This will allow you to get as much traffic as possible. For more information on the bidding structure, please contact your account manager or the support team who will be happy to give you more insights into the competition breakdown of a specific auction. Here you will find the field where you can select your daily budget. You are also able to select the total budget for the whole period of the campaign from here. Another feature you can use is EVEN and SAP, where you can choose to either distribute the traffic evenly throughout the day or spend your budget as soon as possible. Under the creative section, you will be able to upload your creatives and link to your offer. In our case, since it's a banner campaign, you can choose between image, video and HTML5 banner. You can upload your creative from here and you also have available a crop tool which allows you to set the part of the creative you want to be displayed in case the image is over the maximum size. You need to add also your URL to your offer. We also have available here all dynamic parameters which will allow you to better track your performance. We highly recommend you to set up S2S. With S2S you can track leads on our platform and better optimize your campaigns. More information about our S2S tracking you can find in the tracking section and in our frequently asked questions. You also have the opportunity to mass update URLs from here. You can also set up priority and frequency capping to each creative. With priority, you can choose which banner to have a higher probability of being shown to the user if you have more than one banner. This tool works with the weight system, so the higher the number you choose, the more your ad will be shown. Frequency capping allows you to choose how many times you want to show your ad to a unique visitor during a 24-hour period. Remember that a low cap may lead to less impressions on your campaign. For best results, you can also take a look at our optimizer tool and link it to your campaign. It blacklists underperforming traffic sources automatically according to the rules you have set. The optimizer not only saves your time on analyzing each traffic source individually, but also allows you to target a wider variety of sources and test new ones using your budget wisely. The optimizer tool is available upon request and we recommend it to experienced users only. Before setting it up, we advise you to read our guide and get detailed information about it from your account manager. After you make sure that you have selected all settings as desired, you can now publish your campaign. Once you have created your campaign and your account is funded, our compliance team will review it and if approved, the campaign will be automatically published. As always, Traffic Stars team will be happy to help you if you have any further questions, so please contact your account manager or the support team.